I'm going to get weird again. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you remember when we reacted to Church of the Cosmic Skull, Sorcerers and Sabotage was the song. Yeah, I really dug that song and uh, dug that song. And uh, they actually wrote to us in the, the church and said how much they liked it. So we, we yeah. dug so deeper. We dug <laughs> deeper. A lot of dugs. A lot of dugs. Yeah. Uh, and what I found was this really killer song. Uh, it's called Black Slug. And mm. it's it's a departure from the last song we reacted to. Uh, it's a little darker and just really cool. Uh, you, you'll just have to see. The video is pretty cool. The camera again? It freaked me out. Yeah, not so much, but there are some weird parts to the video for sure. Yeah. Um, so, yes, we're going to listen to Black Slug by Church of the Cosmic Skull right after this. <laughs> Here we go. Black Slug by Church of the Cosmic yes, Skull. Let's go. There's a big build up in this song. I'll find you. Never you mind, I'll find you. I've seen you hiding away. I've seen you. I know you better than them. I know you. I'll help you to give it away. I'll help you.
never you mind I'll find you I've seen you hiding away I've seen you I know you better than them I know you I'll help you forever forever <laughs> definitely got a spawn ranch vibe to it no doubt still but uh yeah, interesting they got a monstrous sound oh my god that's what i dig about the song so much it's just that thick heavy sound in this kind of mellow sort of tempo and then it just builds up with the dynamics they play with dyna dynamics a lot uh yeah definitely and then that choral sound when all the the voices come in forever, forever. it's just it's haunted Led by squeaky from yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um totally dig it i mean it's been in my head uh for quite a while because after we listened to sorcerers and sabotage i really got into church of the cosmic skull i started listening to more of their stuff and this song, you know, kind of stuck out to me because of, it's a little bit of a departure from their other th stuff. And uh, the video is pretty cool, too. Uh, so, yeah, I think for me, it's, it's I think I like the other one better overall. It just had more kind of rock and roll feel to it. Yeah. Uh, but this would be good for that in-between song because it, you know, goes a, little, goes a little to the left and you come back. Um, yeah. But it's it definitely cool. It's got a haunting. Uh, exactly meaty you know rhythm to it uh, you know it's a slow paced thing but it's yep. you know and he's sitting in the chair with the, with the little star you know it's, it's and then very, the black slugs on the wall behind him and uh, yeah when you said black slug i thought of the that remember that band black flag black flag yeah uh you know another haunting kind of um mysterious yeah. heavy sound to it heavy duty you know now they're there i think there's about seven people in this band so the cool part is that they have things like the electric cello and violins and keyboards. They have this, uh, this ability to create this unique sound with all these different instruments and all the different characters in their, in their band. And, yeah. you know, the, the, the deeper you dig into their catalog, the more you start realizing how cohesive it all is. They have a sound. They really do, and it and it just kind of. This one's a little bit of a departure from that sound, but it's still, it's it's that haunting sort of, uh, you know, it just keeps me coming back. I want to hear more. Um, yeah, no, and it's a tight, rehearsed sound. Yeah, almost like a dancer choreograph. You know, it's got, uh, it's polished. They're really uh, they they come up with that sound. They've come up with the look. Yeah, less Barry Gibb for me now. It's more. Um, I thought Rob Zombie. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cleaned up and, a little. Yeah. And this could be in a Rob Zombie movie. It's haunting. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know if there's any relations there, but if there's influence there. But yeah, that's what I thought of right away. I think they're um, they're Irish and British, um, just generally. Uh, I'm not sure which members are which, but uh, that wasn't the one that was Irish Canadian. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. They're okay. they're. I, I'm pretty sure they're British. Uh, I know one of the blonde um, singers is irish um apparently she and the guitarist the guy with the beard rob zombie 
um, had started uh, a band prior to this where she was the lead vocalist and he was the drummer. Mm -hmm. Um, And interestingly, they've kind of developed into this band, Church of the Cosmic Skull, where she's more singing backup uh, or lead female vocals um, with two other girls uh, helping out there too. And they added the cellist, the keyboardist, the drummer, and now the old, the drum, the guy who was playing drums in the first band is now the lead singer and guitarist. So there's a lot of talent in, in the band. Yeah. Um, Squeaky, yeah, Leslie Van Houten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did sign up for their, uh, they have a website. It's a very freaky website, but it's very cool. Very well done. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's a very well done marketing scheme because basically you sign up for free and they'll send you an email every day or every other day saying, you know, how, how you're continuing to, um, you know, become part of the church. And when you click on the link in the email, it takes you to a nu- the next track in their new album uh, and that sort of thing. So it's, it's a great way to introduce uh, an album song by song sure. with this whole story behind it of this church. Um, they even have some videos on their channel uh, about a, a, a kind of a fake documentary that they made uh, of someone going in to interview people in the church. And you should watch some of that. It, it gets a little creepy, uh, but in a very funny way. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I'm definitely past the point of thinking, are they really, you know, no. this is it definitely, they just packaged it into this exactly. cool concept. Right. Uh, so if you have that concept, then yeah, branch out for sure. And uh, the more things make them more visible, but it's it's it adds on to the storyline and adds on to you wanting to see more and what where they'll go. Yeah, exactly. And musically, uh, they're just awesome. I mean, I I love their whole sound, um, and you know, just the 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 way the songs are put together. There's so many layers. Yeah, yeah. And and so so it's great. I, I'm I'm a big fan. So, yeah, and apparently Vincent Bugliosi is also a big fan. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they're they're really good. I, I again, like I said in the last one, I want to see more. Yeah, yeah, and we will we'll keep uh, keep an eye on them, uh, and whenever new stuff comes out, who knows, we might uh, actually do another reaction. Um, I've already seen everything they have online right now, so I can't react to it as a new viewer. But you haven't, so uh, from, from what you've seen, you're a fan, big time. Yeah. Like I put well, them on my playlist now all the time. Excellent. Yeah. Well, there you go, church. Yeah. We approve. <laughs> I have now joined the church. <laughs> yeah. Didn't think that was going to happen. No. All right. Well, hey, hit subscribe, please. Hit the like and uh, the notification bell so you can see when things are released. Uh, and uh, keep rocking it, baby. All right. Rock and roll. <laughs>